It is estimated that over 20% of Americans suffer from allergic reactions. Being a part of this 20% made me really interested in this topic. Throughout this short film, I will explain the very basics of the science behind allergies. The chemical basis of the human body's ability to beat disease is by antibodies. Antibodies are complex protein structures known as globulins, but because globulins have a direct relationship with the immune system, they are often referred to as immunoglobulins. Although there are many immunoglobulins, the most associated one with allergic reaction is known as IgE. Substances that stimulate the production of antibodies are called antigens. Antigens are usually proteins. In allergic reactions, these antigens are only a small part of the substance that has entered the body and they cause a reaction. Examples of antigens include pollen and dust. And just so you guys know, the term allergen can be used in place of antigen. Cells in the body evaluate these allergens and communicate information about them to other cells that produce antibodies. These antibodies then attack that specific allergen. The antibodies remain in the bloodstream even after the allergen is removed. The IgE antibodies are responsible for the most common allergic reactions such as eczema, anaphylaxis, hives, hay fever, and asthma. No one is born with IgE antibodies present in their bloodstream. When first exposed to an allergen, it takes 10 days before the IgE is developed. So, a later exposure to the allergen then will cause reaction. It takes repeated exposure to the allergen for people to develop an allergy. IgE is a group of molecules that each have a slightly different structure. The different structures of IgE only react with a specific antigen, similar to how a lock and key work. Therefore, people have only certain types of allergies. So, the IgE that reacts with pollen is different from the IgE that reacts with dairy. The tail of an IgE molecule is Y-shaped and it attaches itself to certain cells in a body called mast cells. A single mast cell can bind more than 100,000 IgE molecules. Inside the mast cell are granules that contain chemicals known as mediators. When an allergen combines with an IgE molecule in the mast cell, the mediators are released. Although there are many chemicals present in the mediators, only two appear to play a role in the human allergies. These chemicals are histamine and slow-reacting substance. Histamine is a chemical responsible for the reactions we associate with allergies such as itching, swelling, and runny noses. There are four ways in which allergens attack our bodies. They can be inhaled, ingested, touched, and injected. Once an allergen is detected in the body, there are two different types of allergic reactions, immediate or delayed. An immediate reaction would happen within minutes after exposure to the body, while delayed reaction can take anywhere from four hours to days after exposure to feel a reaction. An example of an immediate reaction would be eating peanuts, while an example of a delayed reaction would be when you come into contact with poison ivy. I hope this video gave you some insight on just some of the scientific information about allergies. I also hope this video sparked your interest in a topic of allergic reactions. Thanks for watching.